Hi everyone. Just thought I'd be, start the show by listening to some lovely Baroque music. All generated, yes, by AI. Yes, this is AI Baroque music. Everything about it has been generated from a single prompt. And if you think that's impressive, just you wait until you see what we come up with over the course of the next 45 minutes or so. This is a very special episode of Home Choir because we're not necessarily going to be singing, though you might be singing along in a couple of places. We are going to be using one of our favourite Home Choir songs. In fact, I'm going to go full screen. Uh, there we go. Ah, here he is. Uh, we're going to be using one of our favourite Home Choir songs known as the Ode to Cheese to generate some... Well, interesting new music, the type of which has perhaps never been heard before. We're going to use two pieces of online music generation. One of them is called Suno, which you can see here on screen. And I was just playing you a piece called Echoes of the Season, which, uh, well, is a piece that was de generated by Suno. The other piece we're going to be using, uh, other bit of software, is called Udio. And uh, just in terms of spelling, uh, you can see it in the top left here. I'm indicating with the mouse, Suno is spelled S-U-N-O. And Udio is U-D-I-O. Think audio without the A or studio without the S-T, whichever you prefer. Now, both of these amazing bits of kit are completely free to use. Uh, if you go along to uh, suno.com or udio.com, you will need to sign in with an account. You can use a Facebook account, you can use a Google account, but there is no charge to use these pieces of online software at the moment. Um, you can Particularly with Suno, you can buy credits. I'll talk more about those in a minute. And they have various payment plans that allow you to do it. One of the key things with this is if you want to use the music that's generated by AI for commercial purposes, that is, you want to sell it, you want to pass it off as your own, you want to use the soundtracks or what have you, you do need to have a paid account. And I do have a paid account for Suno. Uh, Udio at the moment is completely free to use because it is in what's called beta, which means it hasn't been finalised to the point where they can start to charge for it yet. But what they're doing, basically, is they've given it to the world for people to play with, but because it's free, well, everything that we do, every bit of uh, music that we generate, helps them refine the product. So ultimately, we are basically the guinea pigs. Now, all of this being said, what's happened with AI music over the last year, really, since we were talking about it in 2023, is absolutely astonishing. These two bits of software are the first two out of the gate, but they will not be the last. These are incredible tools. Many people have said, and I happen to agree with them, that this at the moment is the chat GPT moment for music. Now, I've had a number of concerned people writing to me, some as recently as an hour ago, expressing concern about AI in music. And what I'm hoping to show you today is really some of the potential of these tools, and they are tools, and also hopefully to reassure you that I really don't think that professional composers uh, are in any danger anytime desperately soon, because as always, these rely on a human interaction, they rely on an awful lot of uh, prompting and a lot of selection from us as humans. But let, let's just have a look. Now, in good old uh, British children's TV fashion, I want to show you a few that I've prepared earlier. So we're going to start with Suno, because this is the older uh, and more complete software. When I say older, it's uh, it's about six weeks old, this. And this is one of the things. It's, it's unbelievably fast, the pace of change with this software. Um, so what I thought I'd do is I'd play you a couple of bits that I generated using uh, Suno. In fact, you heard some of it last week uh, Last week on Fun Friday. I played you a piece. Uh, in fact, why don't we just have a little look, see if I can find the one that we played. It was somewhere around here. Was it this one? I think it was. With doom and gloom all no, in... No, it wasn't. It was this one. That's it. Let's all watch our home choir and sing along with Ben. 
He'll lead us all in happy songs until we're smiling again. It's time to sing some happy songs. It's time for Fun Friday. It's time to sing where you belong. It's time for Fun Friday. It's time to sing some happy songs. It's time for Fun Friday. It's time to sing where you belong. It's time for Fun Friday. You get the idea. Now, the lyrics uh, were written by yours truly and put into Suno. And as you can probably see, if, if I scroll down, it took a number of goes in order for it to come up with something that I thought was the right fit. And this is fairly common, although what I'm discovering is just as with the great chat GPT, which you can see here on screen, uh, the, the better you get at writing prompts, the better result you get out at the end. So the more detail you can give the software, the closer it can come to the style that you want. Um, and so what I did is I've taken the wonderful words for Ode to Cheese by our very own Nesta, one of our favourite songs, which of course you all know we usually sing to the tune of Ode to Joy by Beethoven. And I fed it in to both Suno and Udio about an hour ago to see what it would come up with. And first of all, I thought, well, let's come up with something, uh, let's see if it can come up with something in the Baroque style. Okay, this to me is one of the major uh, points in the development of this new software, if it can write convincing Baroque music. There's a lot of things, a lot of aspects about Baroque music that need to be right in order for it to sound convincing. You've got to have the continuo, which is either organ or harpsichord. There's a choral style attached to it. There is a harmonic and melodic shape that you would expect. So let's see what it came up with. Now, I've had to roll it a number of times before I'm happy with, uh, with it. And to begin with, as you can hear, it's a bit on the rough side. Here's the first one. So it definitely sounds Baroque. It's, the sound quality isn't great. And this is one of the things about Suno. Certainly when you hear the Udio versions, uh, Udio is a much higher quality of sound. There's a lot of artifacts and crunch in that. It's quite hard to hear the words. Let's try another one. Oh, we heard the word cheese there. Yeah, I mean, if you were to hear that playing in the room, you might say, oh, that sounds Baroque. Doesn't sound desperately convincing. Let's try one more. Now, I, I, I added some additional detail up here. So I asked for Ode to Cheese. I gave it the words which are down here. When you've eaten up your dinner, then the next thing that would please is a platter with some crackers and a lovely choice of cheese. Edem Gouda, Double Gloucester, Wednesday Down and Buxton Blue, Cheddar Stilton, Mascarpone and some Monterey Jack 2. I asked it, though, to write it with these tags here. Baroque, comma, Western Classical, comma, Cantata, comma, Bach, comma, choir, comma, choral. Let's see what it managed to do. I like that. And some Monterey Jack too. This is all just taking the words that Esther wrote all those years ago, putting it into Suno and asking it to generate the music. Let's try this one. It's a very good choral sound at the top of the texture. Yeah, we're starting to, to hear it get to grips with the style. Now, earlier music, Baroque music, classical music, romantic music, it is nowhere near as uh, as gifted at writing in these styles as it is perhaps in more contemporary styles, mainly because there's more of this 
type of music to listen to. So, and also, let's be honest, and it's uh, not controversial to say that uh, rock music doesn't have anywhere near the harmonic and melodic intensity and complexity of Baroque music. However, there are some certain kind of key styles that if you were to take that O to cheese, for example, this next one, I asked it to set the words in the style of, and I said, a 1950s pop song in the style of the Ronettes, produced by Phil Spector, big band, jazzy, female vocalist, bright vocal. So I took that prompt from another song, which I particularly liked. And this is what it came up with. So this is Nesta's words. This is still the Ode to Cheese in a completely different style. Here we go. When you've eaten up your dinner, then the next thing that would please is a platter with some crackers. And a lovely choice of cheese. That's much better. Isn't it? And got a double Gloucester when Sleagill and Buxton blue. Cheddar still turned the mascot for me. And some Monterey Jack too. Bright red Lester and Montego and the Tennis Chef Ray. Fabulous harmony. Really good. Now, what you find with Suno, bear in mind this is still early software, very, very early, is quite often it doesn't quite scan, doesn't, doesn't know how to fit the lyrics in. Now, I like this. Yeah, fabulous. Really, really good. Now, so that is Suno. The Suno is uh, free to use. You can generate up to 10 songs per day. You do need, as I say, to sign in with your Google account, but it is free to use and you, you get credits added. Every, actually, is it 10 or 15? Anyway, you get a certain number of credits per day and each song generation uses two credits because what it does is it generates you two versions and you choose the one you like. You have the option to extend, but I'll show you that functionality in a minute. I want now to turn to Udio as this is the brand new software by which it's been out about a week and I, I by the time I'd planned to do this broadcast I'd only used Suno and then Udio dropped last week and well I mean it's unbelievable let me just play now one of the one of the things about Udio is it is still in beta as I say it's still in testing it hasn't been officially released so you can't buy credits for it uh, and as I said, we are kind of the guinea pigs for it. Once again, you need to sign in using one of your accounts. It is free to use. It'll only generate uh, blocks of music in about 30 seconds or so. Suno will generate up to two minutes in one block. Udio, 30 seconds. But we're probably only a few weeks away from a full release where you'll be able to buy credits and have two minutes or possibly even longer. There is a bit of an arms race going on between these. So just as before, I put the same lyrics into Udio, put the same prompt, and, uh, well, just have a listen. This is this is the first one it came up with. They called it the Cheese Board Serenade, which I particularly like. So these are Nesta's words, and this is in the big band style uh, with the female vocalist, etc. Get a load of this. When you've eaten up your dinner, then the next thing that would please is a platter with some crackers and a lovely choice of cheese. Eat them, go to Double Gloucester, Wensley Dale and Buxton Blue, Cheddar Stilton, Mascarpone and some Monterey Jack too. Bright Red Lester and Montego, M and Taylor, Chevre Brie Brie. Yeah, Feta, Gorgonzola, Camembert, Halloween. And then it wants to go on to do a little uh, instrumental, which we might let it do in a minute. Here's the other ones. Again, it generates two at a time. Uh, but how about that for a difference? With, with Suno, you can hear it struggling to put the syllables in the right place and the quality's not great. Udio is unbelievable. Here's the other one it generated at the same time. Here we go. When you've eaten up your dinner, then the next thing that would please is a platter with some crackers and a lovely choice of cheese. Edom, go to Double Gloucester, Wensleydale, and Buxton Blue. 
Cheddar, Stilton, Mascarpone, and some Monterey Jack, too. Bright Red, Lester, and Montego, Emmon, Taylor, Chevre, Brie, Gris. Yeah, Feta, Gorgonzola, Camembert, Halloumi. Now, for me... Okay, that's th that's the 30 seconds it came out with. For me, it's the, the melisma. It's the multiple notes. Halloumi at the end. I mean, that is in incredible now if we just scroll down my list here of some of the other uh pieces i've created using audio uh cheese is aria so i asked it let me just check this is the right one here um i so i wanted again i wanted the cheese song when you've eaten up your dinner but i asked for this to be in the style of baroque choral music so we heard suno's version this is the audio version let's see The Halloumi at the end, again, perfect. Halloumi. You could very easily turn that into, well, a very Handelian piece, couldn't you? It sounds absolutely convincing. Uh, one more, quickly. Oh, no, that's not the right one. Now, this is one of these you will quite often get, if you put all these in, you will get a whole selection of different styles that don't quite fit. So this, it's not perfect as i say this is still beta what i want to do actually before we generate our own we are i'm going to ask people in the live chat to give me some suggestions as to subject matter i want to then go over to chat gpt we will get some words from chat gpt we will then come over to suno and udio and we will get them working for us and then i'm going to show you the next step how we take it out of this software put it into uh, the kind of software that I use to generate our normal music, see if we can't get something that we can use for Fun Friday. Um, so I want to play you just one more whilst you're coming up with ideas in the chat. Um, I want to show you a, a wonderful piece. Is this the right one? Bear with me a moment. No, uh, well, actually, have a listen to this. The, uh, the first time I heard Udio do Baroque music, it was this. I didn't give it any prompts other than Baroque. And this is what it came up with. And it cuts off. That's that's all it wrote. I mean, that sounds pretty much flawless compared to something like, you know, the Academy of Ancient Music or so on. I think we are only six months to a year away from being able to generate convincing sounding Handel arias and Bach cantatas and, you know, Mozart opera. It really is incredible. Now, I asked it to create for me a piece of a cappella choral music. Let me check this is the right one. Yes, it is. I wrote some very simple songs. A song sparkles in the air as light radiates on the water. A note pure as the gentlest heart, a heart full of love. Ooh. Okay, so I wrote those lyrics. I know not going to win any prizes, but I then fed it to Udio, and this is what it came up with. Ooh.
impressive people are asking what the prompt was well i wrote the words i asked for classical comma choral comma classical music comma western classical music and that's what it came up with i asked for a cappella as well because i wanted it without instruments so i could then feed it into my software so we really are at a crossroads here everyone now various people are asking uh, for various things. So I like the idea of Lady Marjorie as a magical. Okay, so those of you who are um, not familiar with Lady Marjorie, this is a song that uh, I wrote a couple of years ago now. One day after tea, Lady Marjorie took a walk into the woods beneath the sky of blue. She bumped into, look, bold Sir Marmaduke, sitting on a mossy moot, I'm looking forward to hearing that, and fiddling with his shoe. So let's use two verses, and people are asking for a magical. Okay, so let's give it, um, I'm going to say magical, choral, um, early music, renaissance, a cappella. Let's see what it does with that. It's going to give us 30 seconds of Lady Marjorie. And whilst we're at it, to be, to be fair, let's go over to Suno and give it the same prompt. I've got to type it all in again. One day after tea, Lady Marjorie took a walk into the wood. Beneath the sky of blue, she bumped into look bold Sir Marmaduke sitting on a mossy moot and fiddling with his shoe style of music renaissance actually it's right madrigal choral classical renaissance a cappella and we're going to call it Lady Marjorie. So I'm going to set Suno going. I can already predict that Udio is going to do a better job. But let's see, shall we? So Marjorie and Marmaduke, this is the first one. You are the first people in the world to hear this, as indeed am I. So here it is. Marjorie and Marmaduke, as produced by Udio from Words, by me, and uh, prompt also by me. Everything else is AI. Here we go. Took a walk into the wood beneath the sky of blue. She bumped into look. That's got a weird sixties look. Sitting on the mossy moot and fiddling with his shoe. I I really like it. It's not anywhere near the prompt. Let's try the next one. Ooh. One day after tea, oh, one day after Lady Marjorie. Marjorie. <laughs> Beneath the sky of blue Definitely She acapella. bumped in to look <laughs> Love with Mama <laughs> Duke <laughs> Sitting on a mossy moon And fiddling with his shoe Again, uh, closer and then it's acapella. I think this is a prompt issue rather than... Something else. So let's uh, say a cappella. Uh, I'll say Baroque, even though it's not. Madrigal, choir. And let's see what it comes up with. Let's give it two of those. It's done two whilst we were waiting. Here's another one. 
Oh. Oh, okay. Now that, it's not Renaissance. Obviously it's not Renaissance. It's not imaginable. They might be able to make a case for it being late Monteverdi. But it had a modal moment and it had a Scotch snap in it. Just, just listen again, listen. Here. Now that is very impressive. Here's one more. No, 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 we're in there. Okay, let's have a look at what Suno's come up with. I don't have high expectations, I'll be honest. Here we go. Fiddling with his shoe. That's not bad, actually. For sooner, that's quite impressive. Let's have the other one. Mayuri. That's not bad at all. OK, let's add in. Let's give it a bit more help as well. Let, let's have a lute accompaniment. Let's put in the, uh, what's, ah, uh, now, actually, this is particularly good about Suno and uh, about Udia. What's the matter, sir? Most peculiar looking, you're appearing, sitting on that mossy moot. So that's the first voice. We also then have Sir Marmaduke. Sorry, ladyship. But I've got a bit of stone or pointed shingle at the bottom of my boot. So I'm going to grab those. Now, I'm going to ask Suno to set that. And I can't give it any more detail than that. I've asked for a loot. Let's see what it comes up with. Now, Udio, Marjorie's Fancy. Let's see what it's come up with, Marjorie's Fancy. Here we go. Nowhere near. How about this one? Ooh. I don't know what it is, but I really like now, it. One day after tea, Lady Marjorie took a walk into the wood beneath the This sky is the a cappella bit. She bumped into look, bold Sir Mama Duke. Sitting on a mossy moot and fiddling with his shoe. Okay, um, one more. Oh, ah. One day after tea, Emory, Lady Marjorie Emory took a walk into the wood beneath the sky of blue. Now that is the closest she we've had. Into Now that sounds, I'm going to like that one. That sounds like an actual magical. So let's take the opportunity to extend this. I'm going to put the lyrics for the next verse in. Now this is where things get really, really interesting. Because what I can do is I can say voice one here. Uh, and then I can say, in fact, I might even say female voice. What's the matter, sir? Most peculiar looking you're appearing. And this might cause it to throw a bit of a fit. But then male voice, I can actually specify in the lyrics what I want to happen. I'm going to add a section afterwards, and we're going to go like that. <sighs> Who knows? OK, fingers crossed. So people are, let's have a quick look at the, uh, at the comments here. Alison likes the original best. Well, thank you, Alison. We're just using this, of course. As, uh, as an exemplar, as something to play around with, because it's words by me and therefore copyright's not an issue. Dorothy's asking in a very, very uh, loud voice, can it do a Cockney accent? Can it do a Cockney accent? 
Not sure. We'll have to find out, won't we, Dorothy? I'm not sure. As I say, we'll have to find out in a minute. Um, so it is generating the Mossy Moot Soliloquy and the Mossy Moot Serenade. <laughs> Let's see what Suno's come up with, with the extra words and the loot accompaniment. Here we go. Not bad, no loot though, and not not desperately madrigaly, madrigalian. How about this one? Mayuri. Tune, but close but no cigar. What about the Mossy Moot Serenade? So this will have the opening that we've already heard and then be extended. Here we go. One day after tea, Lady Marjorie Yamari took a walk into the wood beneath the sky of blue. She bumped into look near a bar. but it's doing a fantastic job overall of the shape. Let's have the... Oh, let's jump ahead because we know how this goes. This is the second extension. They didn't do the two voices, and harmony-wise, I mean, that was starting to approach Poulenc in a couple of places, so definitely lost the magical feel. But I just, the thing I love about all this, let's go full screen for a moment, the thing I absolutely love about this is the ideas that it can generate, the potential for composers to just get a jumping-off point, to take an idea that uh, AI's created and then run with it. I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens when this is integrated into the kind of software that I use every day to create the backing tracks, to create the guide tracks for all of you. It's going to mean that we end up with a much higher quality of, uh, of guide track. And indeed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now uh, a piece that AI and I wrote together. And uh, I'm just going to show you this on screen here. It's called Choir of Woes, and we're going to sing it tomorrow. Um, in fact, I'm going to bring it up on screen. So this is uh, one I prepared earlier. So I asked Chat GPT during the Easter break um, when I first encountered Suno to write a song from the point of view of, to choose an example at random, a virtual choir conductor who's having technical issues with their live stream. Um, perhaps the microphone was cutting up, perhaps people were saying they couldn't hear the sound and that this was uh, was starting to affect their overall mood and that everyone should feel positive and, uh, and move on together. It's semi-autobiographical. It's not in any way about home choir or choir of the earth. It is just one of those uh, one of those subjects. So it came up with the words, click on the link, let's start the show. But all I see is complaints, row after row, microphone issues, can't hear a sound, choristers, oh, why you got to bring me down? In the live chat, it's a choir of woes. Can't you see? It's time to let it go. Sing it loud, 
don't need to pout in this virtual choir. Let's turn it about. Now, what uh, chat GP, not chat GPC, uh, what Sune came up with was incredible. I asked it to write in a popular style. I tried Baroque music. It, it just doesn't have the uh, experience with classical music that it has with pop and with rock and with synth and everything else that there is out there and easy to access. So we're still some months away from being able to turn words like that into a Bach cantata, for example, or a Handel fugue or a, a Mozart chorus from an opera. But I asked it to write in a, a style that is very much familiar to AI in a British synth pop 1980s style. And, well, this is what it came up with. Now, you can see I've played around with this on screen, but uh, what it came up with was a single track called Choir of Woes, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> so here's the words. Now that, it played me that first one, and I have to say, I was blown away. Really simple chords, nothing to write home about, see? In the live chat, it's a choir of woes, can't you see it's time to let it go? In the live chat, it's a choir of woes, it's really, really simple stuff but the style is so spot on. Now, what I did is I took the track that was generated and I put it into this bit of software here, which you can see on screen, Vocal Remover and Isolation. It's at vocalremover.org. This is a particularly interesting bit of software and it allows you to take any track, any recording, and to take the vocals out and separate it into instruments and indeed into vocals. So I thought, let's try that with one of our... It won't work so well with harmony, but let's take one of the cheese board songs. Uh, which one was it? Let's take one of the big band ones, which I really, really enjoyed. Uh, where was it? Is it this one? Flash of Delights? No. Yeah. When you've eaten up your dinner... I love these, I really do. So let's download this track. Now it's going to ask me uh, what I want to do with it. And it's going to generate that. That's absolutely fine. Uh, will it allow me to do it now, though? There we go. OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go now to Vocal Remover and Isolation. And I'm going to get that file... Bear with me two shakes of the proverbial lamb's tail. And I'm going to find that and I'm going to drop it where I need it to be. So we're going to upload the cheeseboard serenade. And it will upload it. And it's now going to scan it for me. Now this is free and you can buy more credits. You can do this with any recording. You could take your favourite Beatles song put it into software like this. There's only one example. There are plenty out there. And you could take the vocals out, you can take the drums out, you can take the piano, you can basically create your own what's called stems with this software. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and it takes a little moment, as you can see, it's got to work, it's got to think about all this, even though it's only 30 seconds. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the, hopefully, take the vocal out of this and have it as a separate track that we can then listen to, download, put into. So you can basically create your own backing tracks, take the vocal out and sing along, which is exactly what I did with this. So if I um, mute the vocal line here, you can see here the backing on its own. You can hear a little bit, a little ghost 
of the vocals still in there because it's not flawless. But if we have a listen now, we'll just hear the vocals on their own. This was extracted using AI. Click on the link, let's start the show. But all I see is complaints go out the road. I put the piano in. Microphone issues can't hear a sound. Choice, so why you gotta bring me down? In the live chat, it's higher a walls. Can't you see it's time to let it go? Sing it loud, don't need to bow. In this virtual wire, let's turn it about. Lightning connections, screens frozen. So you can use it, as I say, to strip out the sound. Let's see, has it come up? Yes, it has. Okay. So let's give this a go. So it's given us two tracks. One is music, one is vocal. Should we see? So it's taking the vocal out. Now let's change the sliders and let's just have the vocal when you've eaten up your dinner then the next thing that would please is a platter with some crackers and a lovely choice of cheese and you can then set them you can download them individually Edom got a double blaster Wensley Dale and Buxton Blue Cheddar Stilton Mascarpone and some Monterey Jack too so you can see the power of this is absolutely immense it really, really is. Now, I've got about 10 minutes. We've done some, we've had some fun with the Lady marjorie -ing. What I want now, and this is going to be really, really quick and dirty. Um, let's just see if we can, between us as a community, come up with a song for Fun Friday tomorrow. It might only be 30 seconds, but let's see if we can do it. So let's have a quick look for suggestions. Um, people are writing about copyright. So uh, Mike's asking about it. If you want to use a Beatles, yeah, absolutely. There, there is a, definitely a case to be made for what's called fair use, where you can upload this stuff, take tracks out, but definitely never to use them commercially, never to sell them. Um, there are you know, some real discussions, arguments, legal challenges ahead for this software. So just make sure if you do decide to play around with the vocal remove or anything like that, um, it's only for education purposes, to learn, to have fun. You'd never take a Beatles track and remix it and release it and expect to be paid. However, the AI generation of Udio and Suno, particularly if you're paying for the account, it is yours to use, yours to sell, yours to... I mean, there are people already. Uh, YouTube is full uh, now of AI music for relaxing and all sorts of things, and people are making money out of it already, and this is just the beginning. So what are the suggestions? British weather, I like it. Uh, the worry of AI, lots of money for lawyers. <laughs> Well, let's see, shall we? Uh, the worry of AI. Okay, let's let's do it. I'm going to. I, I always, when I write to Chat GPT, I'm always very polite. Hope you're well. Okay, because I, I, my view is, if AI is, it's, it's kind of hedging my bets. But if AI is going to take over the world, then uh, I want it to remember me as someone who is nice and polite, so that uh, when it sends us all down the silicon mines. Uh, maybe it'll make me a supervisor or something. Okay. Um, can you please write me a song with three verses and a chorus? The song should be about um, singers worrying about AI replacing them. Keep the number of syllables per line uh, low between five and seven syllables per line and keep the tone light-hearted. Thank you. I always say thank you to ChatGPT. So let's give it a moment. <laughs> Janet says, lol, don't kill Ben. Thank you very much, Janet. <laughs> Singers on the stage for the Rays of AI, will they steal our gigs? Uh, it's not bad, but I think we could do with... Um, I'm going to say, great start, always praise. Could each verse slash chorus have four lines, please? I think three lines might be a little bit challenging. Okay. 
Okay, that looks that looks fine. Sings on the stage for the rise of for the rise of AI. Will they steal our gigs or leave us to our rhymes? Robots won't take heart in our songs. They'll find no soul. Human voices rule in melodies. They stroll. <laughs> yeah, it'll do. Okay, let's take the verse and chorus for now. Let's go over to Udio, and uh, let us have a look at this. So first of all, down here we're going to uh, we're going to select custom mode, which allows us to put the lyrics in. And we're going to pop that in there. Just verse one and chorus. If we want verse two, we'll add it in. Style. So we need some styles. You've got 20 seconds, folks. Pop them in. I'm tempted by that big band style. I tell you what, whilst you're typing it in, I'm going to go for Celtic, Irish, ballad, uh, no, folk. Uh, let's have the, yeah, Celtic, Irish, folk and lively so we'll, we'll have one of those and let's see what else barbershop okay let's try it the same again but barbershop barbershop a cappella fun any more suggestions let's see what barbershop 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 disco says wolfram love it disco so let's have 70s funk disco. I love that sound. Do you remember the 21st of September? Okay, so it's working on it. Sea shanty, says Nikki. Okay, one more. We've got loads to choose from. Oh, I can only do two at a Okay, only two simultaneously. So is it worked? Okay, okay, it's asking me to wait. Uh, let's try Voices of the Age. So this is our words. And uh, this was the first one. I can't remember what the style was. What was it? It was... Oh, this was the Irish one. Okay. No, hang on. No, that's Lady Marjorie. Let's go back. Oh, it's still thinking. Oh, okay. All right, we'll give it a minute. That's fine. Voices unmatched. Oh, is it done? Is it just done the Lady Marjorie? Circuits and serenades. This must be. Right, just bear with me a moment. I'm just going to refresh. Sometimes it does that. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. It's gone a little bit off piste. And bearing in mind, this is new software. So let's try it again. 70s disco funk. Da 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 dun. Create. Has it worked? Fingers crossed. Oh, I've only got nine minutes. <sighs> it's overloaded, indeed. <laughs> While we're at it, let's go over. Let's ask. Uh, let's ask Suno to do one. I know it's kind of the. Uh, it's it's fighting to catch up, but let's go for seventies funk over here as well, and we'll call this one uh, AI fears. Let's go back over here. Melodic Humanity, Soul in the Circuit. <sighs> good title. Very good title. Whilst we're at it, let's go up here and let's put in Barbershop. Da, 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 da. Barbershop a cappella. Okay, it's got two. So let's see. This is the disco for, for Wilson. <laughs> I'm interested to see where that goes harmonically, but we've got to listen to the other one, Soul in the Circuit. Singers on the stage. Not so much Give disco, Wolfram. Oh, yeah. Will they steal our gigs or leave us to our rhymes? Robots won't take heart. In our songs, they'll find no soul. Wow. <laughs> I've literally spent money on tracks that were worse than that. Uh, let's try the barbershop. 
that's not barbershop, is it? Let's try this one. Singers on the stage. That's reggae. Hear the rise of AI. Will they steal our gigs? Or leave us to our rhymes? Robots won't take part. In our songs, they'll find no soul. Human voices rule. In melodies, they stroll. I mean, it sounds like the kind of music my dad used to love listening to. Let's have, uh, to, to wrap things up, let's have a listen to Suno's take on this. We asked it to do 70s funk, and it came up with... Okay, I love this. I mean, that is, I I think that's the best thing that Suno's come up with in a very long time from my point of view. Let's have one more. One more from Suno. Fantastic harmony on AI, love it. Oh. Will they steal our kids or leave us to our lives? Bam, 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 bam. Robots won't take part. In our songs, they'll find no soul. Human voices rule. Wolfram Shire is very earth, wind and fire. That's fantastic. Okay, have, has it come up with the sea shanties yet? Just to wrap things up, I'm over. Robots won't take heart in our songs, they'll find no soul. Human voices rule in melodies they stroll. Robots won't take heart in our songs, they'll find no soul. Human voices rule in melodies they stroll. Yeah, they, you've got a the problem with the, with the scanning there, but not bad. I mean, I like the uh, the Celtic feel to it. Any I falls the ah. rise of AI. Will they steal our gigs or leave us to our rhymes? Robots won't take heart in our songs. They'll find no soul. Human voices rule. There's your sea shanty ever. The robots won't take heart in our songs, they'll find no soul. Well, do you know what, folks? We could play around with this all day. And what I'm going to invite you to do, it's not compulsory, it's not homework, but if you've been inspired by this, can I ask you, go and have a play around with both Suno and Udio. It is free to use. And as you can see, it's just a lot of fun. Put in your own words. It can generate lyrics for you. It can generate whatever kind of music you want. You can see some styles come out better than others. Looks like Suno's got plenty of soul, but not enough Baroque uh, stylings yet. So we're working towards it. If you generate something that you think's particularly good, feel free to pop it up there on X, formerly known as Twitter, and tag at Home Choir. Um, and what I might do is then play some of them later on in the, uh, in, the, in the month in our next AI broadcast, which will be a couple of weeks from now. And who knows what will have come up uh, in the pipeline by that point. Now, we will be back tomorrow and we will be singing that Choir of Woe song. And I'm going to take one of the tracks we've generated today. I won't tell you which one, but I'll clean it up and we'll have a sing along with it tomorrow. And alongside the AI tracks, well, we're going to have more technology, but it's going to be sing along with mobile phone ringtones in some of our favourite songs from the Mobile Madness series from a couple of years ago. So I hope you've enjoyed this. 
please do not be worried about AI. Embrace these new tools because, my goodness me, there's a lot of fun to be had. And we just need to make sure that we're all up to date in what's going on. So that's what this has been about. If you've enjoyed it, do remember, please give us a like. If you're not yet subscribed, consider doing so. And of course, we're here a lot throughout the week, bringing wonderful music to the world for free. So do come and join us here on Home Choir. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. And I might play you out with a bit of uh, 70s funk. Take care, folks. All the best. Bye.